Hi, I'm Daniela Guarnieri. I work at the Center for Advanced Biomaterial for Healthcare of the Instituto Italiano di Tecnologia in Naples, Italy. And he is my colleague Marco Biondi from the Department of Pharmacy of the University of Naples, Federico II. In this video highlight, we would like to introduce you our paper entitled Tumor Activated Prodrug Conjugated Nanoparticles with Cleavable Domains for Safe Doxorubis in the Theory, recently accepted for publication by the Technology of Engineering Journal. Here, we report on the design of polystyrene nanoparticles for the on-demand delivery of doxorubicin, which is a widely employed anti-cancer drug. The produced nanoparticles release their drug payload in response to specific physiological changes naturally occurring within tumors. This is crucial since systemically administered anti-cancer drugs lack specificity and, after repeated administration, generate severe toxic side effects to healthy tissues and organs. Therefore, the idea was to produce nanoparticles which are non-toxic to non-target tissues by eliciting a selective drug release within the target tissue so as to improve the drug toxicological profile. To this aim, we exploited doxorubicin release triggered by the action of matrix metalloproteas 2 enzyme which is overexpressed in the extracellular matrix of tumors and is involved in many catalytic activities related with tumor progression. Here we report on the synthesis of a tumor-activated prodrug composed of doxorubicin attached to polyethylene glycol through two matrix metalloproteas 2 cleavable peptides, namely A and B. Both peptides contain the glycine leucine sequence, which is highly sensitive to matrix metalloproteas action. The tumor activated drugs were then tethered on the surface of 200 nanometer carboxyl modified polystyrene nanoparticles. The resulting tap conjugated nanoparticles were characterized for their in vitro release features at 37 degrees at different MMP2 concentrations to identify the minimum reactive enzyme dos response. In particular, in the absence of the enzyme, DOX was released very slowly. On the contrary, MMP2 presence within the release medium triggered a much faster rapid DOX release, which reached the plateau after approximately 10 hours. The percentage of released DOX was 40 50 fold higher in the case of TAP P nanoparticles and 78 fold higher for TAP P nanoparticles compared to the case of MMP2 free release medium. It must be also noticed that, in all cases, the enzyme effects reach the saturation about 20 nanomolar MMP2 concentration. The specific action of tap conjugated nanoparticles due to the release of free dox from the nanoparticles was also confirmed by cytotoxicity experiments carried out on three different cell types. Indeed, the cytotoxic effect of top nanoparticles was observed on both tumor and primary cells only upon cleavage by MMP2 enzyme. Furthermore, cell cytotoxicity was higher for nanoparticles functionalized with TAP B compared to TAP A in agreement with the observed drug release kinetics. Confocal microscope observations demonstrated the cellular uptake of DOCs after two days of incubation with MMP2 treated TAP nanoparticles. In particular, both the diffuse and spotted fluorescence was noticed within the cytoplasm and the nucleus, thus indicated the partial release of free dox. Interestingly, also for cells incubated with non pretreated TAP nanoparticles, an intracellular fluorescence was detected. However, in this case, no detectable signals of free diffuse or nuclear dox was observed within the cell, clearly indicating a reduced cytotoxic effect of dox when the drug is covalently bound to nanoparticles. This biotechnological approach holds promise in the field of the safe transport of cytotoxic drugs to tumors, thereby reducing the unwanted toxicity towards healthy tissues and organs. Future developments of this work will deal with the translation of this technology to the production of nanoparticles for the on-demand drug release. The nanoparticles will be made up of biodegradable FDA-approved materials. We wish to thank all the promoters and hope you will enjoy when reading our paper. Thank you. Thank you.